Hi ho! <laughs> that was it. You weren't gonna sing the whole thing. <laughs> no. What were you? What's the I part? Because we're gonna talk about with, in a, with, the salt mine. Because that's where we are. We're in the salt flats. You gotta just digging up us. salt with our hands. What were you? What did you sing though? I don't remember. I thought you were gonna do it, so I left. I've left it at that. Okay. We're in the salt mines. In a mine. <laughs> We're a we're a salty couple of nerds talk about stuff. <laughs> wow! <laughs> because apparently this is just where we're at. The last episode left us in a in a with razor cuts and blown up butts. <laughs> <laughs> this assault is still happening, <laughs> as well as the assault we discussed in the last episode. <laughs> the assault of. I hate the term big tech, but it it's becoming apt. Because I don't like the idea that you just stick big on the on the front of an industry and now it's a problem. <laughs> I don't think you need the word big. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's tech. <laughs> well, cuz it's like big oil, big tech, big pharmacy. It's like that's it's the whole big. point of cor- the corporate corruption of an industry. Well, but it's and not I think it's untrue. Well, I think things. it's flown or flung around far too loosely, but I think with big tech I'm like, I'm starting to see it. Because it's just got to stop. What we're saying is Whoa, that, that is a grimace. He <laughs> thinks it's got to stop too. That <laughs> jaw is so defined. There will be some feces flinging tonight. What? what are that, we chimps now? <laughs> what are you t- You I was <laughs> Dude, he has got a permanent grimace. He's like, <sighs> this guy doesn't have the furrow. He's got the grimace. Don't get on to meta. It's poison. <laughs> Don't. We are, let's conclude that at least. Let's talk about some other companies we hate. <laughs> are we think just we... gonna sit around here talking about all the companies we hate? I don't think we should share the idea we've just come up with. No, I, I think don't we're gonna think market we that. And now, now we're driving suspicion that'll help increase prices. <laughs> Oh, we're getting a piece of the capitalist pie. Are we really, though? Let's not go making promises. We've got an idea for a shirt. We've got an idea for a shirt. Let us know if you're interested. (laughs) (laughs) A shirt with no description. (laughs) People would be like, hey, I'm down. Hey, I need shirts. A mystery shirt. (laughs) That would be an interesting service. Like one of those. <laughs> Each time you get it, like, like one of those bespoke. It's like if you, you've rubbish. heard of like the bespoke post thing, where yeah, it's like, oh, they'll send you clothes and stuff. I'm like, they should just do that, but it's just mystery shirts. Mystery shirt. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, we'll mystery give, we'll send you five shirt. shirts of just who knows. And it's like sometimes you'll get like, ah, oh, Batman or something. You gotta call it a graphic. Something tea. I like, and then it's like, oh, or you know, Hello Kitty, or maybe, <laughs> or maybe, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. I wet the bed still. <laughs> it's a mixed bag. That's that's what we'll call it. Mixed bag shirts. <laughs> mixed bag graphic tees. What's, what's, is shirt not an okay term anymore? Why, why graphic tees? Well, because graphic tee suggests what it would be, which is a print on the front of it. But that's what uh, we used to call them t-shirts when I was a kid because we weren't <laughs> so pretentious. Well, there you go. Where... Am I going to help the assault man who may or may not be assaulted? Schrodinger's being assaulted over there. I'm going to go help him. Schroeder? Schrodinger. Did you... If not, have I wasted a perfectly good physics joke on you? I guess so. Oh, oh, oh. Well, physics fights back. <laughs> ah, hi. I didn't know there was people I up here. Well, <laughs> because it wasn't much of a joke. <laughs> okay, Batman, Adam, what are you doing? We never talked about Black Adam last time, by the way. Yeah, we we, we, that, we got them. that got us off on on Buzz Lightyear being terrible and a whole bunch of other stuff. How did they go about casting? Uh, um, that? I, I think mean, he was chosen for that role, or it was written with him in mind. Because evidently, it's an interesting. Oh, it was written from him, for him in mind. That would be a different. I don't story know that cause... that's. I mean, I don't know that I because from what I gather, it's a somewhat uh, a comic that does exist. Yeah. And it, but it's kind of interesting because it's like it's a, it's an Egyptian god type thing which has never been done before as far as I'm aware. Like it's sort of like how Thor is the Norse god and whatever, but it's like it's he's an Egyptian of mi- Egyptian mythology. Hmm. So it's like that sounds interesting, and I guess they chose him because he is large and menacing. Well, and I guess I mean he's I don't just standing there. I don't want to say that they chose him because he is of a certain ethnic 
background because he's Ho Samoan, Hawaiian. I think he's any both. I don't, I don't exactly know, but I know that he's got a cultural history he's to, proud of. I don't know that I would be able to articulately describe the difference between those two, though, really. Well, Hawaiian is from Hawaii. Well, and Samoan is from Samoa. <laughs> those are two different places. Sure, but they're both Polynesian in some form. Uh, right? Probably, but that's not the... It's like saying, yeah, they're all Asian. <laughs> well, Yeah, they're all European, right? That's the same. <laughs> I don't know. All I'm saying is I think that may have been why is because they were kind of... And not to say that that... I don't want to say that in a denigrating way as if it's like that's all it is, but... I think it could be interesting because The Rock is interesting and we talked about how few movies are like that. But we've got saltier fish to fry. <laughs> it's fun to fry... <laughs> I was thinking fun to fry that. salted fish? <laughs> why? I mean, I suppose that would probably be true. Um, um, I think I just got a cavity... <laughs> You get cavities from salt? No. <laughs> Never mind. Anyways, did you have a thing? Did I have a thing? Have we got anything? <laughs> Adam west got a thing. <laughs> he'll, he'll show it to you when we land. <laughs> wow. Is Adam West dead for real? I don't know the answer to this. I'm going to look it up right now. You should look it up because I think it is the case. I think I heard about it. But then maybe he's one of those guys who's still kicking. Because, you know, some guys... Still really? kick. Still kick. <laughs> well, it's like there's people who you would have thought would have died longer ago. It's kind of like how Christopher Lee was like when he was, even when he was in The Hobbit, he was like 90-something. He was oh, still acting. 2007. No, that was his spouse. Hang on. Sorry. Yeah, he, it was 2017. Okay, so I mean, Sammy recently. It's interesting because, I mean, like, I suppose it's sort of, you, hmm. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say, to be perfectly honest. There's a degree of the tangible difference of time when you're talking about... I don't know what he looks like. You don't have to show me. Because it's like you can know when you're a kid that, you know, the average... It's like, oh, yeah, people lived from, you know, average age from like 70 to 90. 90 being the higher end of the spectrum. But you don't really fully grasp how long that is until you're, you know, living it. Yeah. It's like I, where it's like you know some guys who died in, you know when they were seventy in the in the early two thousands and then some guys who are ninety are still kicking. I think we're giving Adam West soon too much credit. <laughs> it was definitely it was. I might overlay this. I might overlay it when comparison to this because clearly I don't think this was based on that. You got to missend me that exact one because that's not a flattering one. I mean, of all of them. Don't be cruel. It was the 60s. Don't bring it up. He was an actor. I was a boy. Now I'm a bat. The assault is still happening. He looks like he's wearing his pajamas. Well, a little. Uh -oh. oh, the assault is actually happening now. What was that, Master Yoda? You're really leaning into that lately. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. Adam West, we said. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. His suit you're... said no. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. I saved someone. How many more do I got to save? Lots more. That's right. Not far out. <laughs> okay. We were salty. Now we're just not. Do we want to go back to being salty or should we perhaps spare ourselves? Well, I don't know whether... Too much salt on it. Forget a... that. The video won't be funny if we're not salty. What? You, well, it sounded like you're suggesting we should say salty just for the sake of... The... No. Okay, I, this tram... I was about to say too much salt on food will actually end up ruining the dish. Well, duh. But not enough salt doesn't taste good either, so... <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you want? You want tasty fish or fish that'll last? You add salt to stuff to preserve it. This is my excuse for my bad attitude. <laughs> I will stand so the test you, of time. How about you pick up the soapbox? Well, you're the one who had something else to say. The S is for salt. Did I have anything else to say? Uh, I got one other thing to say, I but I was going to touch on else to say a thing. As far as I was going to... I was going to... I don't know. I, I really it's, it's gone. Else to I say. Was gone. Well, well, other than people, again, are just... 
it, that more and more the common public is Stupid. exchanging. Uh, what Batman? You would have landed on that just. What perfect. used to be called speed and ease are done in the name of. Now convenience. we call it speeds because it's really convenient. <laughs> Uh, it was done in the name of convenience, Ow. and now it's just plain. Well, oh, I am very plainly not on that. Call it but I'm going to let the game think I am. No, it's, I'm still on it. I promise. That was a cheat, and I know it. Oh, no, they did uh, they did cut me off. It's, uh. Is there an order It's to more this? than laziness. It's just. Well, I mean, it's that sounds... willful blindness, almost, is what you'd call it. Well, I. You're. You're. You're leading me I've been to a part I've, of the discussion that I'd like to get into. I've been but listening may, to a lot of Jordan be a Peterson bit lately. Too heady. Eh, no, might as well. Well, because I you're still talking. You're still talking about how companies are stupid. No, it's less companies at this well, point. Well, well, since we're talking about how company, companies end up. Well, well let's talk. Since we're still talking about how companies are stupid, or at least for a second, um, we talked about a bit of news that I want to share because it's now old, but I'm still mad about it. Um. The whole Disney Slave 1 controversy that no one thought was controversial, well, Disney didn't care because they went ahead and changed it anyways. But, it's so stupid. Because, A, we talked about why the issue is stupid. The word slave, I mean, if you have an offense, if you take an offense to that, go away. Well, because that's it's been a word. Since the dawn of time. Like, literally, <laughs> it's a word. You can't. If, I'm not suggesting slavery is like ah, it's not that big a deal. No, I'm not. We're not suggesting that at all. But you can't. The word itself. It's like if that's the only thing about it that offends you, you need to get over yourself, because like you're not even going to take into the context the actual like meaning of it and what it suggests and its history and all that. It's like no, just the word. We can't say the word because someone would be offended. And so we talked about this and it's stupid. But they, not only did they change it, which was dumb, they changed it to something so utterly stupid. Would you like to know what it is? I, I would. I Maybe you wouldn't. I don't know whether I will. You'd, it's kind of one of those things where which one do you want to hear first, good or bad? I just like, I. I'd rather not hear anything. <laughs> well, you're just hearing. Don't talk to me. Well, you're all. hearing this. They called it the fire spray. And you want to know why they called it that? Because that already is like, okay, that's like a super generic, like... A fire spray? Yes. I... But it's not even, like, it's bad enough that that's just a stupid name, because it is. But the reason behind it is even more stupid, because they try to that's make it... the model of the ship it is. What? They created the, basically they made up that it's like, oh yeah, because it's, that's, we just decided that's what those ships are called. Like, that style of ship is called, like, a fire spray, blah, blah, blah. It's from, it's like, you know... Sort of like the Corellian Cruiser or like the, the various other names that Star Wars ships have. And so now it's like, okay, so you're telling me Jango Fett bought a ship and just called it that? It's like referring... I mean, the problem is I'm about to make an example that's probably going to defeat my point. But it's like, it's like if you bought a Honda Civic and just called it the Civic. Like, I know a lot of people do that, but those people don't have much imagination. <laughs> It's like, yeah, because not everyone names their car, but you gotta, if you own a spaceship in the Star Wars universe, you gotta give it a name. That's just part of it. Everyone does. That, and I don't... And then, so it's like, yeah, we just called it, yeah, like, you know, we're gonna take the Honda. We're gonna take the, uh, you know, we're taking the, uh, the, I'm trying to think of some, Are like, they sad sacky that's names. what he actually called no, it? No, that is what they they just... the ship is, that's the name of the ship. It's not just like, oh, yeah, that's what this classification is. It's like, no, that's what he himself called it. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, I don't. No, he didn't. I and mean, that's where I just say, Disney, you could stuff it. I'll take. You, I'll tell you where I'd like to spray fire. <laughs> and it, it's just stupid. So, anyways, Disney can do things it doesn't want to do. I won't tell them what because this is a family show. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get that impression? <laughs> I'm just, I'm stating it now because, ooh, I don't know. I'm just, it's, it, they don't care about anything anymore. And I don't care about them. So I guess that works out. But whatever. I need to press a thing. There's more than one, clearly. Anywho. That, so you, have you got your backup prepped? Because I just wanted to pepper that in since we're talking about salt. Add some flavor, variety. Well, I've it's the spice of anger. 
<laughs> it's the spice of life. No, anger is just the spice of, of anger is life. YouTube. <laughs> well, that is probably true. Anger is the life of YouTube. How did... Okay, uh, how did this... Can I go in that Well, uh, my, my point was just, again, companies are the way they are because people are the way they are. And that's... So it's all y'all's fault. <laughs> um, I just... So... You mentioned before the uh, while well, you were you were at least leading me in that direction of was I leading you somewhere? Of, I wasn't doing it on purpose. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, the common public and having an actual was informed I, opinion on was I, how things. did I lead you anywhere near uh, this? You were talking about within. I was the, talking about Disney being stupid. Well, before that, though, you were talking about... Was it, have I ever talked about anything other than Disney being stupid? Yeah. Apple being stupid? We were talking about saltiness and how... And salt and yeah. how it preserves. Yeah. Be salty, you'll live longer. Oh. I'm pretty sure the data says the exact opposite of that. <laughs> Be salty, you'll live longer. It's another shirt. <clears throat> oh, more Joker stuff, since that's all that's really left to do. <laughs> there you go. That's we gotta get... Z well, we've done Zaz. Where's Hush? Okay, that's fast. Oh, well, okay, I didn't mean to do that. So we got to get some more Hush stuff done, because we are actually rapidly closing in. What are we going to do when Batman's gone? That is a long... That didn't... That didn't track. That was way too long. The physics, you would not be able to slide that long with such a short run-up. He's actually doing this. <laughs> he's, uh, he's tensing and, and re relaxing his muscles so quickly. That is glutes for days. I was thinking he was using his, like, arms or something. But <laughs> nope. <his> was... <laughs> He's just crab walking with his glutes. <laughs> well, they are developed enough. Can uh, I get a good... Can I get a good look at them? But, Not um, really. Oh, well, there's some... Yeah, they got some definition. No, I, I mean... So the glutes the common in public, the moonlight. Typical people... Suck. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, by and large. <laughs> <laughs> Typical people. Oh, uh, this fish needs more salt. Are are content, or maybe even I don't, I don't know <laughs> ambivalent maybe maybe to ambivalent. Perhaps you mean ambivalent. Uh, say okay. Ambivalent, ambivalent I think is something to do with about is, beveling things, no, adding bevels. Is, is it's ambivalent with an I. I don't think it is. Either way. The, the the basically they don't engage in making an informed decision. They just kind of him ha around life, going, ah, I don't really care one way. That's or the why other. they should listen to more Jordan Peterson. Exactly. So make a decision, why don't you? No. Uh, <laughs> with, with I think within, for once in your life. <laughs> um, at public, uh, what public, have we become? Are we are we becoming some sort of? It's it's like uh, Hodge those, twins. Sort no, of, uh, no. What's what's those poets that like bash? Uh, were we the Wario Poet Society? <laughs> what the Wario? Who made this joke? It was in the the fun video. This the Frostpunk one. The oh. Wario Poet Society. Oh. That's another shirt. Um, you would have to get the other guy on it though, because it really isn't funny without him. The Warrior but, Poet guy. Uh. We should just make one and send it to us. <laughs> <Not in> the <laughs> send <city>. it to <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> See what he thinks. He'd probably wear it in the uh, video and be like, hey, I got this in the mail. It makes no sense, but it's great. <laughs> um, is the the notion that most people just don't care about... There's a door over there. Uh, engaging in critical thinking when it comes to ma just making decisions. Particularly when it comes to... Uh, things that are considered to be leisurely. Well, because they think it's yeah, it doesn't matter. It's leisure. Well, but that why? Since when does leisure have to be lazy or? Ooh, or, wow! I mean, really are getting salty. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> so, correct me if I'm wrong. But so here's the thing, and I I we put gotta this, go beat up some Riddler I put people. this in our docket, I suppose, for discussion have, a while ago. But I think docket? it just are lends itself to it tonight. Is is that there, to me, and I made this term up because I think that it works, <laughs> to me, there is a burden of knowledge that is put on an individual. Oh, you're going with that. Yes. That, that's put okay, on an so individual. You, so at when a, you said a heady, I, I missed. At a particular age. And 
what that age is, I don't know that I would venture to to determine at this juncture. However, at the point that you can start making decisions, they ought to be informed. Well, and okay, that is pretty young, though. Uh, true, uh, but I'm just saying. Here's here's what I my I'm getting at. At what point is ignorance like ignorance? I can deal with in that. If you're just unaware of something, okay, fine. Oh, that was a sign. I thought that was but some kind of Riddler thing. You came down well, here just cause well, it was because it was green. Well, because <laughs> like I can't see it when my bat vision's on, but as I sped up from this building and like got close to it, it, it I could see it because it was close. It was like what? He was the United Emirates. <laughs> well, I mean, like, look, I do, I did that, and then it suddenly started glowing when I got close. I was like, oh, is that a Riddler thing? But it's just a dumb sign. Um. Oh my. Uh, but just the, so it's, ignorance is one thing because it's just something you're unaware of, (laughs) but the minute that you have the opportunity to learn and choose not to, well, that's, that's more than ignorance. That's, we're back to Ben Franklin. Didn't he say something like all men are born ignorant, but it takes work to remain truly stupid. I think he said something along those well, lines it's, where it's, it's like, you can, you're, you, you're always going to be ignorant of something, but to be truly stupid and just blind is, that's a choice. Well, it's indolence is what it is. You're, hmm. it's inaction. You're is it not. indolence or indolence? I've never heard indolence. it said. Indolence. Well, indolence is probably never read fine. It. But I just, you know, the, where, the context of. I need someone to beat up. I think it's bothersome to me when people have the opportunity well, to learn and they don't. Up. And they don't take the initiative to do so. Because if you're ignorant about something that, to be honest, you ought to have discovered something about, that's that's on you. It's willful blindness. Well, this is why I say the burden of knowledge. You know, if you're somebody who has not gotten presented with that opportunity to learn that, then ignorance is something you can claim. But Oh, hi. But I I knew you were here, but I didn't think you were right right here. had the opportunity to learn it or again you you there's no excuse for you other than than you know indolence then you what ought to why are we i have no idea why you're announcing this to us yeah isn't well i guess because maybe joker's dead i guess she has to be the one she's now in charge there is a i forgot there is a dlc we could play i think i think i have it on the other disc um, that's like her. It's like a subquest after her. You deal with her after Joker's death and whatnot. Spoiler alert! If you haven't been watching, this is your first episode. Uh, the game's over. You missed it. <laughs> uh, but I mean, what? Uh-huh. At what point do we say it's the burden of knowledge or the the fact that you should know about this is on you? Well, you know? I think. I mean, I don't know what I your mean, thoughts. I certainly about think that once when because... you're an adult. Well, but not just when you're an adult, because even, again, ignorance is even tolerable to some degree with adults about certain topics. I'm not suggesting oh, you sure. should know everything. Okay, what I'm you're telling saying, me I can't interrogate this guy? Oh, it's because he's got friends. You know, I'm not suggesting you should never have a, a, something you don't know about. What I'm saying is, if you don't know about something... Woo! That was okay. intense. Is this going to be as easy? That would be so is this- unbelievably hard. He's holding that man up as if he were, like, you know, a, a begging strip for a dog. Like, seriously, he's... That's probably, like, a 180-pound man. Just holding him with one arm over a railing. <gasps> Would you know it? There's another Riddler fella. If... If you have... Oh, boy. If you choose ignorance, or you choose... Oh, boy. Mm, well, don't you know, another? choosing ignorance is the same as choosing bliss. No. That it, well, I mean, in in theory, it's not obviously in practice, but that's the whole point of behind that phrase. Well, and that so may it's be, an easy thing to true. think about it's that way. Easy. That's exactly my point. Well, and it's bliss. I mean, not genuine bliss, but but perceived bliss, temporal bliss. Well, yeah, perceived. I think is a better description because again now you have an entire society of people who say i'm exchanging uh, quality uh both products and companies and what they could be for ease simply because i don't want to expect more 
Well, because it, yeah, I mean it's. So they got. I it. don't. I mean, I don't disagree with you. I'm also not exactly sure what I have to add to this conversation because it's like, yeah, you're right. People suck. Well, I'm not even <laughs> saying people suck. I'm saying like, no, what do you, don't so knock them out. Okay, I guess good. I would ask a question. What do you feel like? Oh my! You know, within the context of, lying. again, burden of knowledge. Tell me everything. At what point does it your become your response? Like, okay. You're ignorant about something, <clears throat> you say something out of turn or, you know, incorrectly or whatever else, and then you find out you're incorrect or you're wrong or your opinion needs to be adjusted or what have you. At what point do you then take on the burden of knowledge, the burden of responsibility that says, okay, I now have the choice to adjust my opinion or to choose to be... At that point, it's not ignorance. Again, it's it's more than that. It's, it's willful... Well, blindness. Stupidity. Yeah, well, well, I don't. I mean, I, whoa, that, that is some lighting. I mean, is it the first time? Do you think? Well, that you I don't, find out about it. That or, is, are this, I'm with like the a, opportunity I'm like to a statue to learn a different perspective. Hang on, I'm, hang on, I'm getting a thumbnail here. That's those that them some abs. Um, well, but I don't. I think it depends entirely on what it is. Because if it's something I'm not going to care about, then I'm probably like, and I, I mean, I suppose that sounds awfully apathetic. But I mean. If it's... Oh, did I unlock a Riddler thing and never picked it up? This seems like the kind of thing you would do. Oh! I... I take back what I said. About what? <laughs> that was... It's clearly that's part of the puzzle is that it's open until you get close, but I just took a cheap shot. I feel bad now. Um, so clearly I've got to get it before I get close. Can I grab it with the thing? <clears throat> So, I mean, you could tell me that I'm wrong about... I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying There's to, not a lot that I'm wrong I'm, about. I'm trying to think of an example of something that I would not care about enough to, to bother. And it would probably end up being something relatively... Okay, can I not? Benign. Thank you. No, Batman, stop crouching. Use the bat thingy. There you go. Really? That was it? Okay. Uh, I can't seem to furnish an example. Because, obviously, a thing I don't care to change my opinion about is going to be I don't care about much. But it's like, if you tell me that I'm wrong about something I don't really, I'm, I'm not that interested in, or is not relevant to me, then chances are it's not. I'm not going to stick. Like, if you told me that what the truth was, then maybe I would remember it. But even then, it's not probably going to be something that I, like... Oh, I'm going to remember that I was wrong about this because chances are it's never going to come up again. Well, maybe not. If it's relevant to me or other people, then then sure. Well, and that's okay. So so you're suggesting that... that Need some more Riddler thugs so to beat up. So then the people that walk around going, oh, I don't really care that shows are that great anymore or well-written or, you know, again, well, okay, whatever co the context of what we're saying... Is it because people don't feel like it's relevant to them? Is that the reason well, that they don't I care? didn't expect you to go that route, because that's not... That, that doesn't really carry much moral weight. I thought we were talking on more of an ethical standard. No, I'm not even talking ethically. I'm just saying, at what point do, are you responsible for informing yourself? I mean, Well, at the point at which you're an adult. At the point at which no one else is responsible for you. I don't know what age that is, because I think that depends entirely on the person. But basically, well, the again, point I at which you want to be a, a motivated, independent actor. Well, and like, an actor. Well, I'm saying in the world. Oh, actor. Agent. Like some agent. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, it's like if you want that, the, the moment at which you decide that's what you want, because you could also just be a bum in your 30s and not care. Like, you could do that. That's a choice you have the power to make. It, they're probably not going to turn out well for you. But I'd like once you are an independent person who does not answer to someone else, the only person you can answer to is you. And if you're not even answering to yourself, then it doesn't bode well. Yes. But I, I need I mean, so someone, somebody to what, punch. I mean, what kind of ignorance anybody, is tolerable? Anybody. I suppose is a question. Um, well, I don't know. Tolerable, that's that's entirely subjective. You know. Mm, is it, though? Well, I think there's just some few moral, ethical qu questions that ought to be... Like, I don't know. I'm not of the opinion that you should, like, pass a test or something before you vote, because I think that that could very easily be skewed and abused. But there's a degree to which I think your responsibility to vote 
is not You're just to vote. Politics, it's, huh? Well, because that's that that that, that affects everyone. It affects more than you. Sure. That's I think where it kind of means. Now you're not just responsible for yourself, you're responsible for other people. Because So you're saying ignorance isn't tolerable within the context of the greater collective? I think ignorance is tolerable if it's only you. Because again, it's like, yeah, you can abuse drugs all you want. It's going to ruin your life. I'm not a fan of things that have ruined other people's lives. It's like, yeah, I, I, I think you should be able to get you know hammered if you really want to, but I don't think you should drive afterwards. Well, I have to, my taxes that pay for rehab, though. I mean, Is that the case? That's a problem with the government, then. That's not a problem with well, that's true. drunks. <laughs> uh, is rehab? I thought that was like a charitable Well, it's possible. Thing. It's not. I'm just saying, I'm playing the devil's advocate and saying, you know. know, it does affect... Because you don't obviously live your life. Well, but I mean, if there's a term... Well, case in point, drunk drivers. Well, that's mm-hmm. precise. Did you not hear the point I just made? I said you should be able to get hammered. You shouldn't be able to drive afterwards. Right. Because that's no longer affecting you. That's affecting others. Yeah. Which is why there was a whole... I think it was Ben Shapiro again, because of course. But he was talking about... There's the a legal term called externality, which is yeah. basically the an effect that is external to the, you, the person committing it. Mm-hmm. Which is why he's saying, you know, because you're talking about the, the whole war on drugs thing, which has been a losing battle for the entirety of that campaign... And so the only way to salute, to solve it is to pare down what actually we need to be focusing on because we can't possibly do it all at once. And he's basically saying it should be based on whether or not your partaking of this substance makes you a threat to others. Which is why I think the weed concept well, yeah, it's like, and so it's like weed, cocaine, because... I mean cocaine potentially, but like certain things like LSD, psilocybin, Silas, Silas is that the other one? Mushrooms? Ooh, uh, yeah. The mushrooms. ones that make you, put, you know, loop like not just out of it but actually aggressive and incoherent that those make you a threat to other people that isn't just oh you know you're rotting your own brain away and being a bump on a log because you can choose to do that but if you're a threat to other people now you there's that you have to answer for that well i think that's why there's such a great argument for this one being a major league pain weed being something that it's not needing to be well, I'm, regulated because, I'm largely again, it's in the favor whole concept of, of liquor, too. It's well, like, it's how like, can yeah. you affirm one and not the other? Well, and I'm largely in favor of most decriminalization, if only because that makes it easier to research. That was something I didn't realize, that the, the, that the criminalization of most... Yeah, I remember the time limit's really tight on these, and I forget how I did it. But the criminalization of drugs makes it impossible, or lar- very, very difficult for research groups to actually study them at which well, point I'm, now it's like well now we don't even know we don't even know what these things do so we don't even know why I'm, that doesn't help anything it just makes you again it makes you ignorant of valuable information because maybe i mean I, i'm not trying to say that somehow it's can i get i can't okay i can't hit both of those from here so i just the only one i have to get is the other one um, so I didn't realize that. So it's like people saying, oh, well, weed doesn't have any negative effects. It's like, you don't know that because it hasn't hardly been studied because it's been illegal to be to study. Like research groups aren't allowed to get a hold of it just because they're researching it unless they are willing to break the law, which most of them aren't. At which point, uh, that was a very unfortunate inter- interjection from that man. <laughs> um... <laughs> I forgot I'm what I was suge- saying. I'm not suggesting uh, so anyways, it, that's like, why I'm mostly in favor of it. Not that I think people should do it, but I just think we ought to be able to at least understand this stuff. Well, yes. But, I I mean, again, getting back to the... Because I'm not even su- su- suggesting hey. trying to get on some... What? I had them all. There's one below you. Oh, dastardly. Um, I, I'm rude. not suggesting that, you know, everyone should have... Uh, not, everyone, everyone I don't stoned? condone. Yes, uh, we stoned. do not condone the smokage of any verbal substances. Um, but um, there's at, no way I'm gonna get all three. I just know it. At the same time, uh, oh, I just hit the guy. Oh no, <laughs> his friend didn't notice. <laughs> um, uh, okay. I, what I'm, I, what I'm what more getting at is, me? how does he see me? Do you not gonna, agree? Is he gonna shoot? That <laughs> <I just give laughs> up. Do you not agree that 
if you that. have not, if you have never been exposed to any other opinion, and you have a set opinion that's rather that narrow-minded, snug. to me, that's ignorance that you can go, okay, that's a little bit more understandable or tolerable or even, I don't know what to call it. Whereas something where you've been, you've had the opportunity to at least engage oh, somebody on, else's ah, perspective failure. and learn and whatever else, and you choose not to, no chance. Is, I suppose, the point in which, to me, you, the burden of knowledge shifts from being, uh, you know, on the those that should have taught you better, or to then now you. Well, that's who, what I'm saying. Is when no one is when the point at which no one else is responsible for you is the point at which you're responsible for yourself. And that, I suppose, is the point at which if you're asking for a date. Okay, so but you're got... thinking. So you're so to my understanding, you're saying it's I'm... an age thing. No, because that depends the, the the age at which no one else get these dudes. The batterings keep targeting these guys when I'm trying to target or, the thing. Or uh, maybe not an age thing. Maybe a life stage thing. Well, you're sure. Saying... Well, what else could it be? You can't be going. Yep, fresh from the womb. You better know about life. No, but okay. Here's a great example though. Burden of knowledge. In that. If my kid, or like, okay, so let's take it a little bit outside of that context. I was about to say, because I'm like, well, it makes don't it... call CPS on me. If, <laughs> oh dear, what are you going to say? No, my point is. My kid's disobeying. No. If I, for instance, as a four year old, uh, touch the burner and realize it's hot, it's burned my hand. That's hardly no, the listen, burden of knowledge. It is the burden that, of no, knowledge. Because that's, now, the first time, that was ignorance. That's the surely, second time, that's idiocy. But no kid's going to do the burden that of knowledge unless is he there. is, in fact, deranged. But the point is the burden because of that knowledge becomes has inst- shifted. No, it hasn't. Because it has. that becomes instinctual. But, okay, but that's my... And again, if your kid repeatedly touches the stove, I'm blaming you. I'm not blaming the kid for that. Okay, yes, if your four-year-old but... touching the stove repeatedly, I'm think I'm gonna think that that's your fault. <laughs> if, the, if the four-year-old touching the stove repeatedly, you gotta take it away. No, what I'm saying is, does that not shift? Where okay, all of a sudden now I have a burden of knowledge where I no. should have known I shouldn't touch the stove. Well, again, I don't think that I think calling that knowledge is well, it's knowledge somewhat by experience grandiose. rather than. I, that's hardly grandiose. It's well, because, a little bit rudimentary. No, I mean, I, that's, but I think that reaches into the realm of instinct, which is pain is unpleasant. If your child, because that's not even, oh, I shouldn't do that. They're not, your kid doesn't well, grasp that it harms them. No, they're not it does gra- grasp it. No, they're going, ouch, that was unpleasant. I don't want that again. They're not thinking this is going to damage my body. I shouldn't continue. <laughs> they're thinking, ah, that's unpleasant. Make it stop. At which point, that's not knowledge, that's that's barely above, you know, pretty sure all you need for that reaction is a nervous system. <laughs> well. So that's not knowledge, and again, if your kid's doing that repeatedly, I think you're the one at fault. Oh, I gotta get so all the So what I'm things. getting at here is that you oh, could do it? You could be 30 hey! still. Or, you if know, you're, again, older. if you're doing that at 30, then I... No, uh, I'm not suggesting that at 30. Well, then it was a poor example. No, I'm saying... You can. What I'm getting at is that you're suggesting it's a again a life stage thing or a age thing in which, at one point, I would say life stage more than age. Okay, so life stage in which you become responsible for yourself. I'm suggesting, despite what life stage you're in, barring maybe infancy and some of those younger stages of of learning, you know, ignorance the first time palatable well, we've got ignorance these, the these second time systems. is not ignorance i'm sorry it's not well, the burden of knowledge the, is on unless you. the circum no unless the circumstances are different how so well touching a stove is different than touching fire you're not going to immediately know that they're both going to have the same reaction because no. they're not the same okay, thing but see again that's ignorance so they had, still no, yes. because you didn't know about fire that's it but then that's, again well i mean this is still a poor example but it was the one we were just on because I don't, don't get stuck on the stove concept. I no, was what using else? that as I can't, one... What else are you thinking? Like, what else? Give me an example of that kind of thing where the where the where where circumstances wouldn't be different enough to perhaps justify. I so, don't know okay. how to prevent... You made an assumption about a particular people group as a 25-year-old. 
and okay. you end up finding out that it's wrong. Uh, now this this I find complete garbage. This is like a bolt of electricity. You cannot shoot a bolt of electricity. You're telling me the gun is somehow deflecting my plasma beam with bullets. <laughs> as opposed to just creating electrified bullets. <laughs> I forget what I'm supposed to do because I don't see a um, hackable terminal. Well, that's... I. If you've made an assumption about some someone, let's do it that way, and you end up discovering that your assumption or your original thought was incorrect, that's ignorance at that point. You didn't know about this person, you made an assumption, and now you know differently. But at the point that you then say, but that's the way they are anyway, or I'm not okay, going so to change my opinion even so, that's no longer ignorance. That's yeah, just but children aren't, you children your don't do in. that. You're talking about, again, you're talking about a 25-year-old. You're, at, you're on your own at but that point. But there's still ignorance allowed, is what I'm saying. The burden of no, knowledge isn't ignorant. there no, yet. Not. Yes, it is. When you, no. The burden of knowledge, well, when okay. you initially make the assumption, although maybe poor, is not necessarily on you because it's still ignorance. You don't know anything about it. And then the minute you're presented with the knowledge is when you have to then look at it in the face and go, well, now it's up to me to do with it what I need to do with it. Well, sure, but I think you can't, you wouldn't say that of a, of a, Six-year-old in the same no. comparison. No, okay, that's great. So I'm oh. not nullifying your point. What I'm saying is there okay, has well, to be okay, more. So I'm trying anyways. to build off of it. I oh, suppose. I'm dumb. I'm knowledge, a silly boy. I, I'll say it this way. Knowledge wow. is presented to you over your years and uh, your uh, life uh, stages. Uh, uh, and as a child, you pick up the knowledge fairly innately because you're taught by on a society level as well as on a familial level ideally that others are going to teach you how to live life and to do things thug. but if you lose that somehow along the way and you don't pick up knowledge that is presented to you well this is going to be a bad fight this is a lot of guys then the burden of knowledge is significantly on you and yet because you've been presented with the opportunity to learn, and yet you haven't taken it. So, like, for instance, a person and that's so never been... So this comes down to being willfully, to just choosing to Correct. be stubborn. Correct. And well, not even stubborn. Think... That's not stubborn, though. It's, it's... Well, yeah, it is. Of course it is. It's not. To it's choose apathy. not to... Well, but that... Uh, I think it could be both. It's that well, and it can it could be. You can you can you can either not care or or choose to stay in your ways. I mean, arguably those are synonymous. Mm. I'm not sure which is in control, whether it's really? apathy or stubbornness, because well, I think both could explain it pretty that's well. That's a fair question. I don't know which is in control either. But what I'm saying is, to the common public, why are there so many idiots out there? Oftentimes, well, and I, I feel no, like it's but because they that's not because picking up knowledge that's given to them. No, there's been idiots for the since the dawn of time. But it's why? not a new thing. Sure. So basically, it's human nature is the answer to your question. People are a bit dim. And they have they can only not be dim by effort, and not everyone wants to do that. Well, okay, then you're back to apathy. Sure, but I don't. But what does that prove? It doesn't. I. It's not specifically ah, prove pipe. anything. It was just a commentary on saying. Well, because you're asking me like when, what, at what point, and I'm like, well, at, 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 I don't know. There's no I'm saying within that. a situation. I'm not. So, well, but I don't think you can I'm answer that either because you, you're thinking because it is going to be different in every situation. You're talking macro level, which I agree with you is a life stage. Well, but I think that that's the only way you can because every situation is mm. going to be slightly different. But the I think nature a, of your experience will always be different. Than, yes, but on a micro level, I think that once you're presented here? knowledge... I don't remember this happening. Oh, that was, of course, right. Yeah, the whole city got that bombed. Once you're pre pre presented knowledge, it's up to you to do something with it. Oh and at that well, point, you can't claim... Here's here's the... Well, if you're going to talk about people claiming to be... Ignorance, exactly. To be, to be you know, somehow unfairly treated or somehow that they're justified then sure i think that's pretty much a problem anytime you do it well and that's but that's not the same as just that's a different here's problem the here's the crux of my argument you can't claim ignorance if you have been given the opportunity to be to adjust yeah, to to largely everyone's been given that opportunity mm, to a certain degree once you are an adult you can, the, you depending can on choose, the context though Sure. As again, I said I don't think there's going to be a, a single answer, but I think once you are an adult, once you have the ability to act as you're on your own, you have the ability to gain whatever you would choose to gain. Well, yes, but I think 
oh, you know, thing, limitations like tunnel. time and focus well, no. and whatever else. No, time, as... you've got time. You've got the time you make. Yes. But so like, it just instance, means that you didn't care enough about this thing to spend the time. Or you put your focus on other things. I agree. Which, at which point you have to simply acknowledge That's this okay was with these things were more important than that. Right. At but which what point I'm you don't claim... Is, it's so sort of like there was... The, there's a... It's on the same level as, you know, there's a way of viewing... Okay, don't get out of here. Uh, inst- a way of reframing your priorities in life by saying, instead of saying, I don't have time for that, saying that's not a priority. Right. Because that's ownership. Because a lot of times you'll realize, sometimes that's a perfectly reasonable thing to say, and sometimes you might catch yourself going, ooh, that, I don't want to say that, because that is a lot more harsh than I, than I realize. Because there's been, that's true. Sometimes you just have to acknowledge that this wasn't a priority, and and if you're willing to say that and and know it, and igno- and and live by it, then that, I don't think that's as much a problem. If you say it was not my priority to do this or learn this or care about this, that's why that's kind of why I'm going. If it's something that doesn't bother me, chances are it's not going to be a priority. At which point I'm not going to care if I'm well, wrong. I guess I'm care no matter despite i suppose what the context is like so for instance you obviously have a far more significant study in you know engineering and so there are going to be certain things that Admittance. many things i would argue that i come across that i'll go i'm i have to plead ignorance here i don't know and you'll get you're gonna to have to inform me at the point that you inform me if i don't either take the information and do something with it or, well, no, but what are you going to do with it? Why does it matter to you? I can understand I saying, oh. have to assimilate it. This, the point no, you is. you don't. Not if it's not relevant to you. Your brain can't hold that much. But then the next time it comes up, if I have the same well, problem, it, can but, I claim ignorance? But see, no. if it comes up repeatedly, but if it doesn't, then you'll have wasted the gray matter. You have a limited amount of that. That is scientifically proven. What are you, what? There's only some, it's like your brain, it, there is a limit to what you can know and remember. That is a fact. So it's not the idea that go, oh, I should just endlessly collect things. It's like, no, the stuff that's not relevant's got to go. That isn't just, I get to know everything. It's, no, you get to prioritize. So if it comes up repeatedly, it's the whole thing of, like, back in the day when, you're, when, when you only had house phones and you had to, and you had to call a friend. Right. It's like you knew their number because you did it several times. And if it was someone's number you didn't call often, you didn't remember. You had to have the book. It's like that's exactly... You forget maybe the first three times you're trying to call your friend and then you go and because you, you get annoyed by having to constantly go back and read it in the book. So eventually you just remember it because you've done it enough. But if, you're, if it's not a thing you're, that's worth calling a lot, then you're not going to remember it. And then yeah, there's no reason for you to. But that's passive knowledge. I'm talking about well, active. Really. I like, don't think there's any. I don't think there's such a thing as passive knowledge. Yeah, there is. 100%. No, there's either things you know or things you don't. I don't think that there's any difference between passive versus you, active. Well, no, you... What I'm suggesting is you type a number into a phone enough times, you're going to all of a sudden know it. Like, that's well, passive knowledge. It's all you're not sudden. going after specifically You certainly remembering could. It. I've, could. There, there's times when I've gone, okay, I'm going to actually remember this this time because I keep getting annoyed at myself for not knowing it. But that's, again, only going. I'm only going to get annoyed if I have to do it frequently enough that the wasted time adds up. If it's like, yeah, this happens every once in a while and I, it's not worth the effort to commit it to memory... Because I'm not going to, it's like if I'm wasting 10 seconds once a year, it's better than wasting 10 seconds once a day because the time adds up differently. What am I, okay, why could I, why could I break that if nothing was in it? So in your opinion, I could play, I could, I could claim, no, I'm, I don't, I disagree with you if this is your perspective, but I'm just clarifying. So in your oh, opinion, right. same scenario comes up in some form or another and you have to tell me something twice. Well, if it was like a day later, then like, okay, that's a little annoying because you should have at least remembered it for that long. But if it's like a year later and you've not, it's not come up since, I'm not going to be like, I'm probably going to forget that I told you at that point. If it's like you repeatedly, and that's the other thing. It's, if you say, oh, well, I just wasn't thinking. Oh, I forgot because, and you do that repeatedly, then I'm going to go, no, you're, I can clearly tell that this is just not something you care about. Right. And at that point, it's going to be... That is apathy and... Well, yeah, and at that point, inaction. it's either that you genuinely don't care, at which point that's going to sort of affect my... Like, oh, okay, I have to. I now know that you don't care enough about this, and it's going to be annoying, but... Or hurt, you know, not necessarily hurtful. Well, Maybe depending on the context, yeah. Right. It's like if you're having to constantly remind someone of your birthday or, your, or something significant to you, 
then it's reasonable to say, hey, I would have guessed based on our, on, and I mean that in a relationship aspect, familial or otherwise. Well, now, yeah, that makes now we're slightly, getting into more of an emotional That makes mo that. slightly more sense where you're saying, hey, you should know this because it implies that you don't care. But if it's huh. literally just random facts, then that's a little like, well, okay. A little bit. Where's... Facts make up our lives, I mean. Nah, not really. Not in my mm. opinion. Lives? It's a little... No, what I... Okay, maybe I should frame it this way. Facts inform our, our well, sure. opinions. I well, obviously. I, 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 that I am agree in, in, in agreement with the idea of... I don't think you have an opinion unless you can, unless you can defend it. Right. All you have is a reaction at that point. Right, exactly. So my my getting back more into so you kind of went the emotional route, which is great. I mean, I agree with you. I think the bottom line at that point is apathy, and that do you care about it or not? And if you don't, a that does say something about you in one form or another. It could say about you. I just prioritize other things, and if it's something that's not that important to you, then great. But if it's hey, I don't really care about this, and it's something you either should or you know, could have based on... Oh, wow. That was a lot more on the nose than... Subject too small. How much bigger can I get? <laughs> Is this not it? Is it the actual window? Really? I um, hate you, Riddler. But... This is this was significantly more heady. You weren't lying. How do I get out of here? Oh, but getting back more <laughs> into the... Open. Getting back more into the... Uh, the I, not even political, but the academic maybe side of things. Well, that's where you're gonna hang it, your hat more no, than me. No, not necessarily. That well, I given, hang give, my hat on academic. Your actions speak louder than your words. Well, you're the one who's pursued it. Well, there's that's a reason true. I have not. Well, I'm sorry, but age has to do with that to some degree. Mm, I could have gone straight. I could have gone straight from college into grad school if I had Very wanted to. Very few people do because that you'd have I to had be the options. really. If like, I had, if I really wanted to, that's almost like a predetermined thing, though. Most people that do. Well, that most are, people know that they want to do right, it ahead exactly. of time, and I considered it. But then the more I considered, I was like, mm, I kind of want to get out of here. Are you done, like done, done. Never. Gonna I'm go not back. sure that I would get it because I feel there's very few things I feel the need to have a certificate okay, see, for. Okay, but again, it's useful because it's a certificate. I go, I could learn enough to. I could learn what I want to know on my own. There you go. Whereas I go, because really all a certificate's going to do is allow you to either teach it or use it in a professional well, capacity. Well, and that was my motivation. And there's very little I want to do that for. There's plenty I would like to learn for my own benefit. Right. But it's not like, oh, not having a degree means I'll never be able to work in this. It's like, well, I'm not planning on that. So that's fine. Where mine is... Was, mine was far more blur. professionally motivated. But what I'm saying with, with the... So maybe not the academic side of things. Maybe let's go with the... Just the philosophical or even, I don't know what to call it. Is philanthropic the right word? Mm, it tends to be a little more with the context of for the benefit of mankind. No, then that's not what I'm looking for. I'm, it's, you're, for your own uh, mental aptitude, I suppose I would call it that, so that it's not quite as obvious that I'm talking about scholasticism. Well, oh, um, going that way, apparently. More Riddler you, thugs. You must... All the Riddler thugs. ...be okay with, I guess, the knowledge that you choose to function in. Vocabulary is a great example. If you choose to speak with very rudimentary kind of, okay, I'm not going to choose my words wisely, I'm not going to really gain any sort of... Not specialized, but, uh, you know, unique or... Uh, or even if you're just saying I'm not going to care that I'm not I'm using words inaccurately. Oh, yeah, that's even... Well, that one bugs me because I'm like, okay, you're... I, like, I would want to tell have somebody tell me if I was somehow mis, um, misappropriating a word. You know, it's like, misappropriating. okay... Misappropriating? Well, oh, you mean using it? Okay. <laughs> But I thought you were meaning mispronounce. I was like, that does not mean the same thing, but it does mean like an equivocal thing. Yeah, but I mean, uh, it, if if I'm somehow using yeah, a word yeah. that's like, okay, that's not applicable or that's not necessarily the way... Ooh, 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 ooh. I do find it funny when he goes, 
Like, that's the ultimate Batman thing where it's like you just take a whole bunch of guys out and right as he's about to come beat down on you, you just spin and pin him up against the wall. He is... However, something's up with his face. Oh, well, now many things are up with his face. <laughs> he fixed it, actually. <laughs> you got something here. Let me just... You don't need that. Get rid of that. Um, so, but isn't that... I mean, okay. <laughs> Neck weight. So, in the... Where am I going? Not in antiquity, maybe, but but a little Ooh, closer. Lots of riddles. We or like over Victorian here. and those types of things. Mm. Why is it that, by and large, society was more well educated? It wasn't. Mm. Fewer people were better educated. Oh, Very well, few then. people were educated at all. Then maybe it's just in the people who were educated were quite committed to it because it was very difficult to get there. You know, if you could go to college, the, the problem with nowadays is this is going to sound very. I don't even know what. I'm sure this people will say. But the problem is college... Ooh, glitchery. Ooh, I have thrown off it's my... Been, college guess, has become too easy. Because it's yes. made it something that people can attend without caring. Well, you get And that used of, to... You mean, that you'd be, you'd be stoned, basically, if your parents sent you to college in, in those age and you just flunked out because you didn't care. Not literally, of well, course. Well, that's what I but was... But I mean... That's what Cause, I was Because it was so hard not, to get there. So the people who did it put some bloody effort into it. And I'm not even suggesting that on a percentage level more people were educated. What I'm saying is... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get the, that was a spready. It's, it's, <laughs> he was like hardcore. It almost is the argument that you could even see within the Incredibles concept of like... The original uh, or the second one? The original. Where, he, you know, it's like the whole... They keep inventing oh, new ways yeah. to celebrate mediocrity. That's and it's a like, good line. That, that is the challenge with our society right now. Is that well, it's because basically... because everyone needs to be accepted, don't you know? You yeah, just, you need a trophy if you lose. And it's oh, like, no, Oh, now we don't. really are getting comments. It's not... The okay. salt is just plentiful today. We've struck a vein. The, the only... The only There's antidote a for a loss is a win. And, hmm. the, and the bottom line is when we try to somehow nullify or pacify would be well, better. Well, because the problem Ooh, that's is... more on the nose. Well, because the problem is if you... Well, we, we, talk, we already have talked about most of this and beaten the dead horse to have mulch. We? Well, we talked about it a little... Not exactly in this context, but like we talked last time about the idea that if you feel inadequate, you, you can't just... <laughs> well, yeah. You, I mean, you don't want to just say in, inevitably, but... You ought to take a good look. You don't just go, well, oh, well, I feel inadequate. I must be oppressed. Or it's like, chances adjusted. are, no, maybe you're just not as good as you could be. Maybe and you could change something. It. Yeah, exactly. That's, again, well, that's, but see, now we're back to the burden of knowledge, where I go, if you feel like you're... Top of the world extreme. I don't the, know what that means. If somehow you feel uh, that you are um, owed the ability to claim ignorance you owe, oh you ain't owed anything in life right and in so the presented victorian history i suppose maybe let me say it that way so that it's not suggesting that all of the vi victorian era you was seem well somewhat, educated. You, you have an example because you, you're sticking with the victorian example mm, because i think there was a there was a lot that was accomplished, I suppose, within the cultural... Yeah, but by very few is the point. Yes, but the, the cultural uh, uh, climate of people that made decisions and people that was that kind of... Back to this kind of cigar lounge, like men are going to actually go and talk about important <laughs> things like that mattered. Well, sure. You know, I'm not sure why cigars get involved. Well, I'm just suggesting that that's one of the contexts in which that happened. But well, maybe. But you know, I mean, even but again, even those were usually those, and not usually those were wealthy people who could afford the kind of education that they had and cigars. But and so, this is where it's going to get real. The salt is going to just start pouring out. Uh, break down the wall and the salt will come forth. Be is, like that scene in the uh, in the in Return of the King with the skulls, except it'll just be salt. It'll just be salt. 
Ska? <laughs> what? I was going to say Skult because I was going to accidentally confuse them. Um, I've got a lot of riddles. I need to get them. It... Skult. <sighs> so even the common folk in that era... Why do we keep getting these weird glitches? Were... I'm afraid one of them's going to do us in. <sighs> As to go back to your argument on relationships, at least had some degree of even relational and cultural aptitude. Hmm? And I I'm, I'm think I missed the beginning of this. What are you saying? What is that? What, what do you mean by that? So, no subject. Technology has made us. Where's the subject obscured? Engage that, and engage we what specifically? Just. People run to technology as a means of Maybe the bar as somewhere. a means of Oh boy, hi, uh, I didn't know you were here. Oh, what's a word for it? Um Yikes. Delegation? No. Why who where'd you all escapism, come from? Escapism, I suppose, from the the person they want to be. Versus the person that well, they actually it's the, are. Well, because we may as well just continue to court George and Peterson since we're on his turf. It's going to send his guys out He's, with a bat. Yeah. Uh, but the whole point is the old... Oh, I took out the Joker or the Riddler thug. I needed to interrogate him. Um, any ideal is also a judge because once you have a goal, you'll know whether or not you're hitting it. Right. And if you're not hitting it, then that, that's going to send signals to your brain saying, hey, you're not hitting what you want to be hitting. And, and that's, that's necessary because otherwise you don't you don't get any closer. But that can also be somewhat, it's an unpleasant feeling. Right. But you have to just kind of go, well. And like striving well, still existed well, back in that in those eras. Well, I still think it does. It, I think because you're again. Less and less though. You I don't see know what that I'm it saying? is less and less because again, we're still talking about a fair minority of the people. Are I would, we? I would wager that a, use technology to basically say I don't need to. I have. I'm saying. Meta. In, I'm saying <laughs> in comparison to the people who used to be in, intelligent back in the day, I don't think there are. Because again, you're saying there are less intel. There are more intelligent people now. No, I'm saying there were let. There were as equal amount of intelligent people between now and then, because the. I'm not saying it was a big percentage, but the percentage is the same. So there are still plenty of stupid people today, and there were plenty of stupid people back then. That's what I'm saying. Or were they the same kind of stupid? I well, I would say the people were back then didn't. Stupid, yeah, you know the I'm people saying? back then didn't have the choice, whereas people now do. And that is a fact, but that doesn't expect burden of knowledge. We're back to the burden of knowledge. Well, uh, yeah, I'm saying it, you I'm, have been. I'm given... simply saying, yeah, the. the I, all I'm challenging is the perspective that, like, oh, yeah, people were smarter and they cared. It's like, well, no, the ones who could afford to did, which was few. Now more people can afford to, but it's still the small number of people who do. And now maybe they just don't have the excuse. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the fact of it, is it's just there's less of an excuse now. But still, the subject has not, yet, has not changed. Why am I, not I just to... think... What's funny is that we the name been... Basil Carlo, like I, that sounds to me exactly like an an old school actor. I would believe that's, that. I think the idea. Well, I mean, I mean, they did it really well, because I genuinely was like, I swear that's a, that's a name I've heard. Um. But that it it gets back to you've been given, innumerable opportunities to, to make, something of yourself. I mean, I suppose that is a okay way of saying it. And the people that don't take it, it's it's really <laughs> hard ass. for me. It's really hard for me to call it anything other than just apathy. It's just laziness. There's nothing well, yeah, more. But than people to... have always been lazy. Sure, but before you, okay, so <laughs> before laziness would get you killed, and I won't. So you're saying you want lazy people to be killed? No, that's not what I'm suggesting. What I'm suggesting is... Get over here. What? How the heck do you... How... Okay, A, how does he, he see me? And second, how does he hit me? Oh, I mean... Okay. It makes a little sense when I, he hits me from the ledge when I'm under him, but I was on the other side of the ledge that one time. How did he hit me at all? At that least was... a Joker this time. Or, I mean, not Joker. Was, I was about to say. Days. Um, I that was stupid. It, the... 
We're I coming close I to our time. What are you? What are your? Th- it's just is primarily there, the notion. That the point is, you're upset use, that people are are misusing their opportunities because they have pe- more than they ever did. And then they use excuses to basically say. Well, that like, I think is the bigger problem: is the excuses. Well, and I'll get. I. I mean, I suppose this is where I'd really hang my hat. Uh, hang it away. Again, speaking of Kobe, as we've been kind, of, I've been kind of using that as a framework for some of my recent preponderances. The author, of course. Yes. Every time you say it, I forget, and then I realize, oh yeah, that was the that guy's name. Yeah, uh, he's the author of the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And one of the things he says is, half the time when people act like things happen ah. to them, like ah, I can't do anything because I just don't have it's time, or pickles. I don't have this, or I don't have that. It's like, no, you can. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, but we've that's age old. Yeah, dodging of responsibility is never going to go but away. But that's a burden of knowledge. It's it you, that it, that it on a knowledge level, it comes back to that you are responsible for your own ignorance and lack thereof. And if you don't like how ignorant you are, maybe you do. Maybe you want to be just a. a well, again, ignorance is bliss. That's why some people stick to it because it makes life simpler, not necessarily easier, but simpler. Well, and that's why so many people are defaulting to it and running to technology, and that scares me, because. Now our society is, in my opinion, that there is a... I'm going to fail it. I failed dis, it. Not disintegrating sounds a little harsh. Mm. There is a unraveling of informed, knowledgeable... Why, 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 Batman? ...world changers happening because we're too busy, lazily being lost in a device. Well... So what are you doing about back it? Back to digital minimalism. <laughs> well, exactly. What is, are you? But that's. I mean. Well, that was not to sound of, too pointed, but what are you doing about it? You well, just that's gotta... that is one of my biggest pushes for why I'm moving to digital minimalism, which is again, I'm I am buying the my, my choice was uh, just to change gears as far as phones, and I've had. Um, well, that's the biggest. And I've had people actually ask me, well, how, number one, how are you going to do that with your job and things like that? And well, why don't your, you just, your job isn't that exactly just a self control thing? Why won't you just. Ah, eh, people have... overestimate how much self control they have. Well, that, and I just go, it is, but at the same it's time. It's like saying, yeah, I don't have a problem with booze. I still keep it in the house. Me, yeah. If you're done it's like, something. well, you could say that all you want, but when you relapse, no one's going to have sympathy. <laughs> right. Whereas if I just cut it out and then. Here's the thing. I realize how much more I can get done. That is that's that is the big one for me. You think about how much time you waste. It's like, well, okay. You don't got much of that. Right. It's the most precious commodity you have. Use it wisely. I'll end it there. Well, okay. What are we going to... That's, I'm saying my argument. I'm not saying. Okay, that. I was like, we probably need to lighten up a little bit on the last couple minutes. Any <laughs> any fluff? Uh, I thought I had fluff, but it's been gone. It's I did gone. actually have a fluff one, and now I I'm, had I had something fluffy. I had it was a, it's, it's, but it's gone. It was something where it was like, what is the what can you do? What is the job? product that you use regularly that you feel like would be difficult to like like. Products. Oh, that I. I well, uh, this is going to be equally. Sorry. Well, no, it's going to be equally heady. <laughs> well, because I had thought about it at the beginning, and then we got derailed, and then we got on yours, uh, and then it was oh, okay. I, ra- yeah. I railroaded you. Well, no, because we, we got off on something else at the beginning, and then I forgot. So I was probably uh, going to be too involved because I was thinking we talk we talk crap about Apple and Facebook, and as much as I've never been a fan of Amazon, people talk crap about them too. The real question is, why is no one really talking crap about Google? And the question is, is that a good or a bad thing? Does that mean that we can trust them or not? Because hmm. that's the thing. That because, like, I think they user don't. Experience they don't from seem Google to. Yeah, they don't. And I think part positive. of it. I think part of it is that they just kind of shut the heck up. A lot. That's true. Like they do stay out of dodge. Yeah, they, a lot. they're pretty much just going. They're yeah, we're just. Wise with I that. mean, yeah, it's like yeah, we've got some projects we're working on, like you know, Wi-Fi stuff, and and uh, I don't even know. Even we don't even most don't even know what a lot of the stuff they're working on is. But it's basically just like they don't. Well, they don't a, talk crap. Is that a part of their secret sauce, though? You just stay well, out of the public well, spotlight. Well, that's <laughs> certainly not a bad idea. But the question is, are they doing that through conscience? Or are they doing that because it's like you know. It would we, should we know about what they're doing, or 
or are they not doing anything worth telling us is the difference. Because, I mean, if, if all they're doing is just optimizing search engines and developing, you know, Wi-Fi. Because one of the things they were about in the while back was, you know, basically making Wi-Fi available in underdeveloped countries through... Well, like Google Fi. Yeah, it's that's... like, and, and those kinds of things. So it's like, is that if that's all they're working on, then I'm like, well, okay. Seems fair. Because I don't I think know just, that Google has ever... And I'm saying this again with they do have a somewhat worrying no tendency to buy things a lot. Yes, where it's like we like you, we're buying you, but then again, the things that they buy do seem to continue. It's not like they're buying them and then shutting them down. Well, and they're also make sense to their larger mission, which I think is just to create streamline user friendly processes that are Google to me has kept the why at their focal point of the company as far as their motivation, which is to create a more streamlined user service that is not well, when encumbered you by when random... You, yeah. Well, and when you really consider, when you talk about... You know, preventative measures. The dissemination of knowledge, it's like the search engine was about the single most <laughs> profound thing that changed that. Yeah. Okay, do I have to... Oh, okay. I just have to get them all eventually. I'll just keep throwing until I hit one. It's probably better if I wait. Ah, missed it. So, yeah, because, I mean, people don't even realize what a, what not knowing something meant back in the day. Because it was just like, oh, okay, well, do I have to go to the library to find that out? Or do I just have to not know? Whereas now it's like, because people think, oh, everything's on the Internet. It's like, yeah, but is it accessible? It might all be there, but if it ain't easy to get to, then it's not going to help you. So, I don't know. Maybe that was their mission from the beginning, is just making that easier. Or maybe they're secretly out to dominate the entirety of the world. I have no clue. So, if you've got any... Really? Come on now. How hard can I be... How can I be failing this bad? Batman! i got to wait. Patience. Calm. There you go. See? Patience and calm. Wow. Um... So yeah, I just, with that, that was something I was going to talk about since we're on the tech thing. Maybe we should. Maybe I should be more worried about them. But they seem to be the one that I'm like. I don't know that I have as much gripes with them. Just because I think I think it's part of the just fact that they keep they shut up and they well, keep they out of minimize, my business and I keep out of theirs. They minimize risk because they don't try to well, pre- it's, present themselves well, and it's, against yeah, it's the PR, public. Really, it's just they're going. Hey, we don't interfere we're just that's you know. exactly it they don't and i don't think it's in this more than pr that's a that's a uh policy they're also statement. not overstretching themselves right. it's not like yeah we're gonna and they're not getting in you're not they don't have any fingers in your fancy as exactly they're they're going you know what you do you whatever you want to search on our platform is facebook we aren't gonna facebook's tell you trying no. to do too much and then well i think the, I think the issue most people have with Amazon is they just don't like that Jeff Bezos is rich, which is a stupid thing to complain about. Well, that's a dumb, what is like, it, 10% or 3% or whatever it is, and it's like Well, because that's, that's, yeah, I mean, that's just a stupid thing that you're going, oh, you don't like him because he's successful. Sure. Did you and know that? They're, I mean, the claim is, oh, he can't possibly have made that much money without abusing people, and it's like, well, you're just kind of wrong about that, but yeah, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, right. So I think that. You ends, know about capital gains. So that's kind of the only thing with him that I'm like. That's I think the only reason people don't like Amazon is just because it's like, oh, we don't like that they don't pay people a lot for doing stuff that's really not that skilled. <laughs> but I guess people don't want to hear that. Again, it's part of being, don't wanting to be judged. But oh, I'm gonna miss it. Uh, so yeah, but like Facebook, it's just because like because they do stupid things and they get themselves into all sorts of trouble. Whereas Google's just like, no, nah, we're just yeah, search engines. Well, I have a friend. And that. phones. Within and that's the about it. Context of the How Amazon I... thing, I have a friend that says it's the whole, you know. Oh it, really? You want, you know, bigger paycheck, solve bigger problems. Well, yeah. You know, you gotta, you gotta actually prove that you have some, some stock. Oh, or not stock, did I get that or not? Really? Worth, you know, to a company, and there again, it's the handout concept. Well, I want a trophy, even if I don't deserve it. Well, I, there was, because I was reading, well, we're going to go a little over, apparently. Uh, it was in the, again, Jordan Peterson, but this is actually from the book, not from a lecture. Why do I keep... What's the book's title again? 12 Rules for Life? Yeah. That's, yeah. Or there's the second one, uh, 12 More Rules for Life, but that's the subtitle. Beyond Order is what it's called. Yeah. 
Come okay. Every time I. Mm. But uh, one of the things he's, that he described. Oh no! What? Maybe it was from a lecture. I don't remember. But either way, I just think the way he put it was great. Which is okay. I can't do it from this way. Um, don't create problems for people who want to give you money. <laughs> yeah. Because it's like you you realize they're giving you money. Like you might think you're entitled to that, but no, they're just giving it to you. Like yes, obviously there's an exchange going on, but like be you. If if capitalists were all evil, greedy people, it's like they wouldn't be giving anyone money. So the fact that they're saying, hey, you come and we'll give you money as long as you, you know, do things. It's like the reason they're doing that is so that is because you're making or at least they're hoping you'll make things easier for them. So the last thing you want to do is create more problems. Right. So it's like if you can actually prevent problems, solve problems, make things easier, then they'll be happy to give you money. And in fact, they'll be happy to give you more money. If you really do that well. One so, of the things, well, and that this kind of goes back to the Google things. I think one of the things that their business model within Google and oh, also some other companies that have oh, chosen dude, to do this. We're doing really well with the Joker or the, every time, the Riddler stuff today. Is that they collaborate. They I do that lie. kind of. Well, because principle. oftentimes what they do is they'll just buy a people out and then go, all right, continue. Like well, they bought out Boston Dynamics, the robot company, which I mean, most people probably aren't aware of because, I don't know, it interests me. Why can I not? Really? I can't... I have to get closer to it? It interests you, therefore, most people must not be aware of it. Well, robotics is not a wide... It's not a wide yeah. field, yeah, I understand. But, yeah, Boston Dynamics is basically... They're, they're among, if not the greatest sort of success in, in the development of super sophisticated robotics. But... Whatever, that's like beside the point. medical robotics? No, just like, no. Or? Well, have you, you've probably seen the articles slash, like, YouTube videos of the of the sort of semi-humanoid robots that they, you know, they'll have them stand on one foot while they beat it, while they push it around and it self-balances and things oh, like yeah. that. It's like, th those are usually them. Mm. And I don't, I mean, I'm not exactly sure what the application is. I think it's mostly just for the sake of the exploration. But, like, they bought them out a long time ago and then basically have just been like, yeah, just keep doing your research and we'll pay the bills. Well, and I mean, my point that's not with a bad way to do things. Is that, you know, as you were talking about solving problems and stuff like that, companies are, even now, it's more than just, you know, monetary gains at that point and wealth that you're gaining. You're gaining influence. If you just actually well, present well, yourself well, as well, that's, the, that's precisely the thing, again... If you can't seem to get away from it, that Jordan Peterson talks about a lot. We're going the whole concept that uh, I'm not going to bother with this one. This one's awful. No, <laughs> I hate that one. <laughs> I remember it. Uh, but like the idea that all political slash corporate power is based is is based purely on power and wealth. It's like that's not actually true, because the if it was, it. He puts it better than I can right now because I'm distracted and, and tired. But it's basically saying, you know, people like Apple and some people would say Amazon, maybe. They're losing reputation very quickly because of the fact that people perceive them as having as being just nothing but money grabbing. And it's like, yes, that will gain you success in the short term, but you will slowly. But, you, you know, once you have no fan base. No one's going to buy it. See, so it's heard, a short-term goal. I've not heard that, that critique leveled to Amazon, I guess. It's I've heard it a lot, and I think it's, again, I think it's mostly just because people don't like that Jeff Bezos is rich and somewhat self-indulgent, which, sure. But then again, if you make would a lot you, of money, I don't care, what, I don't care what you, you do with it. I mean... <laughs> wouldn't, you, wouldn't you what? The, the, it's the, the uh, oh, I think it's Brian Regan that does the, you know, he's talking about politics, and he's like... He voted to give himself a pay raise, and he's like, "Wouldn't you?" I mean, yeah. like, <laughs> well, yeah, it's like you're gonna say, you, "Yeah, he's got a lot he's of money, and, money. He, and he indulges himself with it." Okay, that's wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could argue, "Oh, well, if he gets the money, you know, dubiously," but it's like I'm not. There's no proof of that. It's Anyways, his, it's his money. He's gonna use it when he needs it. Yeah, basically, because he called JG Wetworth. <laughs> really. <laughs> You're going to go there. Well, that's about as fitting a place to end because we're over time and probably caked so much in salt that we'll never move. Do we have something light? Tell us a joke, a funny story. Light? I don't know. Something a little less, like, 
Salty. <laughs> I think we've been on the salt wagon. <laughs> gotta gotta lighten up. Gotta cheerful, happy. Something better than this. Go eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> really? <sighs> Got nothing, apparently. No hope for you today. Well, neither do you. No, I'm talking to them. No hope for them. Yeah, and apparently Life it lands sucks. on me. Well, yeah, you're the one who brought us down. Figured you wow. should get us out of here. I'm going to have to cut that because this is... I don't know where I'm going to cut it. Somewhere <laughs> in the past two minutes. This suit's weird.